Hi, I'm Norman Wahlberger. We're here at the University of New South Wales. This is problem 24 in chapter 4. We're talking about linear equations and matrices. So the question is, to find conditions on the right-hand side vector B, which ensure the system has a solution. Okay, so we're going to adopt the usual procedure. We're going to solve this system of equations, or start towards it, until we get to the stage where we can read off whether it has a solution or not. And throughout that, we're going to treat these variables b1 up to b4 just as we would numbers. We'll just carry them along in the row reduction and see what we get at the end. All right, so let's start by writing an augmented matrix for the system. 1, 1, 3, minus 1, and b1 on the right-hand side. And then second equation. 2 minus 1, there's a 0 there, and then a 2, and then a b2. And then x1 minus 2x2 minus 3x3 plus 3x4 equals b3. And finally, 0x1 plus 3x2 plus 6x3 minus 4x4 equals b4. What's our strategy? It's the same as it usually is. We'll start with this top left-hand entry. That's a pivot element, and we're going to use it to eliminate the entries below it by subtracting multiples of row 1 from row 2 and row 3. All right, so let's see what we get. So we're going to keep that row 1 where it is, 1, 1, 3, minus 1, and b1. And then we're going to take row 2, and the new row 2 is the old row 2 minus 2 times row 1. And the new row 3 will be the old row 3 minus row 1. Row 4 we'll leave as it is because it already has a 0 where we want it to be. Okay, so this row minus twice row 1, 0. Minus 1 minus 2 times 1 is minus 3. 0 minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. 2 minus 2 times minus 2, that's like 2 plus 2, that's 4. And b2 minus 2 times b1 is just what it is. b2 minus 2 times b1. Now, these are unknowns or variables, so we have to just do algebra with them as variables or unknowns. Then row 3 minus row 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3, minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, and 3 minus minus 1 is 4. And b3 minus b1 is just what it is, b3 minus b1. And the last row we said we're going to just leave as it is, 3, 6, minus 4, and b4. Okay, we can see that there's some uh, kind of correspondence here. These rows are looking quite similar here on the left-hand side. Okay, so what's our next step? Well, we could uh, divide this row by minus 3 to make that a 1. But it's not really necessary for us to make this leading entry here a 1. We're still going to use this entry here and take multiples of this row to get rid of the entries below it. Okay. That's more efficient because it doesn't require us to move to fractions. Especially since we can see that if we just take this row minus this row, we're going to get zero. And if we take this row plus this row, we're going to get zero. So that's quite good. All right, so let's go over here. We're going to get 1, 1, 3, minus 1, b1. And this will stay where it is, 0 minus 3 minus 6, 4, and b2 minus 2b1. And now, what are we going to do to this row 3? So row 3 is going to be equal to row 3 minus row 2. Okay, and while we're at it, we'll write down here that row 4 will be row 4 plus row 2. I'll right, we'll squeeze that in there. Hope you can see that. 
Okay, so row three, we're going to take row three and subtract row two. This minus this is zero. This minus this is zero. This minus this is zero. We're going to write a row of zeros there. But this minus this is not zero. What is it? So B3 minus B1 minus B2 minus 2B1. All right, let's do that in our hands. All right, we're going to have B3 minus B1. And then when we subtract this, we're going to get plus 2B1 for a total of plus B1. So there will be a B3 plus B1 minus B2. B3 plus B1 minus B2. I'll write it in that order. B3 plus B1 minus B2. All right, that's this minus this. And then for the fourth row, we're going to take the fourth row and we're going to add row two to it. And conveniently, we get a bunch of zeros there. And the final entry, B4 plus this thing. So B4 plus B2 minus 2B1. All right, so now we can read off whether this is going to have a solution or not. So when in general does a system like this have a solution? It has a solution when the last column, the one on the right hand of our divider, is not a leading column. Okay. That means that as we read these along these rows, these entries here better not be non-zero. Because if they are, then they will be leading entries and that will make that a leading column. Another way of thinking about it is that if one of these entries here is non-zero, then the whole system cannot have a solution because it's impossible for 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 0x3 plus 0x4 to equal something non-zero. Okay. So solution exists, or let's say solutions exist precisely when b3 plus b1 minus b2 equals zero. That's the condition that we require for this thing not to be a leading entry. And the condition that this thing not be a leading entry, b4 plus b2 minus 2b1 equals zero.